So it is Saturday the 26th at like 6 a.m. and we're heading out to the farm. We're going to uh, move, we've got 20, 22 cows to move. We need to move them from the pasture down to the corrals and we're AIing them. We're starting the AI process, it's a three week process. So currently I'm in Denver. I need to drive two and a half hours to Kimball and to start this process of, three week process of AIing the 22 cows. So come along with the ride. into Kimball. Kimball's about two and a half hours from Denver where I left um, and from Kimball I got to go like 15 minutes about 12 miles north of Kimball um, out to the farm where I grew up. So Kimball is a town of about 2,500 people. Um, I graduated from here in high school and so did my whole family. The school is probably about 150 kids so I graduated with like 24 or something like that. So pretty small town but I think it's starting to grow so there's, there's some good things happening here and I'm, we're kind of investing in some some properties in some different areas here in Kimball and my wife and I are both looking to move back here so I'll pull through Kimball and kind of head north and then we'll get out we gotta get the shoe ready and get the cows moved down from the pasture which is gonna take a little bit of time um, we'll have some other friends out there helping us one of my good friends from high school Mitchell's gonna be out there helping us and my dad and a guy named Kevin Mosier who helps out my dad who works at the plant and also comes out and helps on the farm time here here and there and then we'll have a guy named Dawson that's gonna come out and help us as well. He's the, our veterinarian, he's his son, and so we're just kind of looking for some more help just because I can't make it every weekend from Denver. It's a little bit of a trek. And so the times I can't make it, that my dad's got some help to work these cows, but not by himself. So I'll talk to you when I get out to the farm. We're at the farm. Let's get to work. So, AIing is a three step process. Well, three times through the shoot. Um, I didn't realize that before. So, this is the first time we give him a shot of juice yep. and drugs, help give him in sync, and then we put a uh, cedar, a cedar, like an IUD. Yeah. Like and in, in there, they, they carry it. Basically, it's got big old plastic teeth and everything in the back. Here for the next two weeks. Okay. We gotta start that today and give him a shot. Alright. So that's the plan today. Hi Mitchell. What's the process we're going through here? Okay. Tell me what the process is. I'll, I'll walk it through. So, we're all the cows in. We come up through that gate into that pin there. From there, we come through this gate into this holding pin. From the holding pin, Mitchell is going to shove them through all the way through here until we get to this gate right here. And then from this gate, we close it. It's kind of trapped three more at a time in this pin. Once we've got the three or four at a time, we push them through. And we take just two or three into here because they get kind of tight in here. So if we only do a couple at a time, it gets a little easier. So I wrap around here. Mitchell's going to shut the gate on me like I'm a cow. So he pulls this shut, which in turn comes down. It has these little latches it latches into. So it's a big old lever on Mitchell's side. So it shuts, moves this gate with it when it comes. The cows get tight in here, and then they decide there's only place to go is down this path. So from here, that gate's closed because there's already a cow in there. 
you know, up in this gateway. They walk down the chute about this height. They're pretty short. Through, see this gate? I think they can go out here. So they walk through here and here's where the weight scale is gonna be. It's not quite set up yet. Walk here, another gate stops and then from behind, Mitchell pulls it, shuts it, keeps them in here. They walk through here and this is the chute. So Mitchell closes the gate again behind, just keep one at a time. So we've always got one prepped and then the head gate closes on them. Holds their head, is able to shut them, and so they kind of keep tight in here so they don't get all upset. Just if things aren't going well. And the key to keep this running is WD 40. It's like the key to life. Sounds dry. enough people three's a lot there's a camera right over there there's a guy our HOA president's hunting he's got six tags for the property this year he just asked me he's like you guys any deer I was like yeah come kill them all so he said he's been sending me a picture he sees deer walking across here constantly I got wagyu beef I don't need cow I don't deer So right now we're just sitting and waiting. We're getting ready to move the cows out of the windmill pasture, we call it. Um, we're gonna move them down south. So we got three guys that are out of the pasture on different four wheelers and side by sides that are bringing them in. And I'm sitting here um, in the middle of the pasture. Just waiting for the number four guy to come down. Mitchell in the back of that white pickup is sitting there waiting as well. So that way we have enough vehicles to move across. But we're moving them down towards the house that way. And there's no fences or like that so we got to keep it in between the corn out of the corn and then just kind of move them slowly so that's the goal right now so keep on watching sounds true <laughs>
Yeah, everybody's moving okay. You just gotta let them, let them relax and go on their own. Hey, 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 hey. There you go. Oh. Hey, 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 no, 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 Mitchell and I will run him. You guys go pull him up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. No, come on. Come on. Come on. Someone start her. Okay, two minutes. Good here. Come on. There you go, there you go. Alright, hold up, bitch. Come on, come on, let's go, come on. You're a big heifer. Are you learning? Yes, I'm learning. Okay, good. You need to learn too. Is there no blood this time? What's that? No they're, blood this they're time? They're already getting mad, Reed, does it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, last time when I was putting in the shoulder, we got a lot of cars. So then when you're doing this, you want to kind of go at an upward angle, and it should just slide right in for you. We got the three big girls left. They're gonna be the mad ones. Yeah, they're gonna be, they're gonna be mad. That one, this one on the far right, she's mad all the time. Good girl. Hey. Hey, good girl. So this is already set to what it needs to be. It should stay on 30 right there. And then just one full squeeze along the back. Just like that, and okay. then it should refill for you. You might just check it and make sure it refills. But okay. just once on each cow. Are you learning? Yes, I'm learning. Okay, good. You need to learn too. Is there no blood this time? No they're, blood this time? You get mad when he does it.